full house here. 12 fouls to Fox on half of this game. Something's wrong with Ewing. He looks like he's hurt. He was bent over double at the free throw line. And the officials have called timeout. A little pushing going on out there. Ewing is doubled over. And he's having some words with Western Kentucky's Percy White. You remember last year, these teams got into a great altercation. See, there's Ewing standing right in the free throw line. He's bent over double. White went by him. I don't know what happened there. Here's another shot. He took another shot at it. Well, officials didn't see anything. If anything were there, it looked as though there was. And uh, Ewing is going to sit down. In comes Ralph Dalton. Now it'll be interesting, Larry, to see how Georgetown responds to this. Well, I'll tell you what, he's put a man in there with a lot of meat, and that's Ralph Dalton. He's, in, he's about the same size White is. John Thompson a little bit visibly upset, obviously. Martin now driving on the inside, penetrating. Rebound, Western Kentucky goes for it. There's a push off inside by Western Kentucky. John White. Looks like Dennis Johnson picked it up. I'm going to say it was Dennis Johnson pushing off. Second team foul against Western Kentucky. There'll be no shooting here, but Georgetown will get back the ball, leading by a pair at 7 to 5. And Patrick Ewing is on the bench. Good play to Gene Smith, driving inside, along the rebound. The push off by Dalton. I kind of feel like that might have been a little bit of a retaliatory move by uh, Ralph coming in that time over the back of Percy. He says, hey, look, don't bother my number one man. Could have been. They got a timeout. 15 minutes, 12 seconds to go. It is heating up here in Bowling Green. We're early in the game. Georgetown has jumped in the lead. They're on by a pair now at 7-5. And we'll be right back.